Hey there, it's Mike. We are going to go over what I consider my best street photography images of last year of 2022. And I can give you a little backstory and or explain why I think they are or one of my best images of the year. So we're going to start with this one. I called this one bus stop. This is one of the it might be the only image of 2022 that made this my top 12 here that doesn't really have any people of it. You can see some people down here kind of walking around a couple of like red jackets or whatever. But, um, you know, normally I would want a person sitting in here in this bus stop. Um, but even without the person, I just I really kind of liked it. I like the the branches coming over. This was um either during or just after some snowfall so the snow was very fresh um it just worked really well by itself you know one point composition straight at the bus stop so really kind of like that one so this one was actually shot very close to the one we just looked at um this is also on the campus of lawrence university in appleton and um Obviously a fall shot had some leaves hit the ground. Actually, I did a point of view video for this one of my first videos that I did for the channel um, You know, just kind of Squatting down here making sure I get a lot of leaves in the foreground and then it was it was raining it wasn't raining too hard But raining enough that I could get some umbrellas and if you know anything about me I love umbrellas one of my favorite projects and subject matter and just waited for this woman to walk by I had some other ones with a guy walking by but this one was just nice because a little bit more anonymity um, can't identify the person. I was kind of like that idea. So that was a good fall umbrella shot. This is a shot. This is really rare. Again, I think I did a video um, about editing this this series of shot shots from the farmer's market. And this is one where I was doing some photography and he was waiting. This guy like doing plaster drywall or something. And he kind of noticed me taking some pictures. I was trying to be kind of coy about it but he noticed I was pointing the camera uh at him and kind of gave me a little smirk and just his pose and his you know his shirt and his pants and the tools he's wearing you know covered with plaster things like that the good strong lines here just um a really nice shot I really enjoyed that very unusual for me to have a shot where someone's looking at the camera this is one of my I would put this in my top three or four for the year actually I just love the lighting on this um, I saw the lighting inside this this mall we have like a little indoor shopping area um, right on our main street and it's really like the light coming through and I had to wait a few minutes and got you know got this nice person coming down the escalator just a really solid in black and white here is another one on the campus of Lawrence University. This is actually the same walkway that the checkered umbrella um, one came through. This one. Same walkway right here. Just going in the opposite direction. This was during a, like a snow ice storm. Um, you know, this was sidewalk not cleared it, you can see it actively snowing and the thing I did with this is I, I really kind of dehazed it um, and made it kind of foggy and mysterious because he was wearing a white hooded sweatshirt you can't really tell because the way I edited it and he's being really careful because it's very icy he's carrying this it, it is an instrument he's carrying he's got his hand out to balance because this is kind of heavy but he's wearing a white hooded sweatshirt and it blended in with the snow and I kind of liked the fact that he was headless so I called it headless most people are very intrigued by it it's one of my larger prints at art, art shows that I do this was on the campus of the University of Wisconsin at Oshkosh there is this walkway that has these really neat like slats you can tell in in the um, in the top here and they just, they just come down you know when the Sun is a little bit higher in the sky and you know and give you this gives you this this nice pattern i have this student walking through and you know her hair is actually kind of backlit there's kind of like a key light or a backlight on her and i just really like that it just turned out nice especially in black and white this is one of my favorites um again probably top three or four for the year just um really nice sort of you know she was standing there most people don't stand in the rain but she, you know I, I was setting this up have all these trees 
with the with the leaves and the vegetation i wanted that to take up a lot of the shot have the lines of the bridge and then have you know she was just standing there um really like the clear umbrella and putting her kind of way in this corner again love umbrella stuff so this was actually in madison uh, Wisconsin, our state capital, and this was an old church, and the red of this door was just fantastic, and he was dressed in this, you know, he's got this really bright, colorful outfit on. He's leaning really far over so that his hood covers his whole head and his face, and he's just reading there. Um, this is one that absolutely has to be in color. Black and white just isn't going to work as nearly as effective. This is really interesting because I don't know, you know, I think... Some people would be like, what is it? Like, why, why would this make your top top 12 of the year? But it's just something about it. It's It's got a little bit of motion to it. It reminds me of something from the 50s or 60s. Like, you can't really tell. She's got this old scarf on and kind of like older glasses. There's some movement to it. It's just a, kind of a neat detail. The contrast, the white scarf and the black coat, um, you know, looking off to the side. There's just something kind of vintage looking about it that I really like. So I did I did choose it in my top 12. This I shot in Nina on a photo walk. I did a, um, a photo walk with Photo Op, which is a nonprofit organization here um, in the Fox Valley. And um, I did a video about, about the photo walk. This is maybe my favorite shot from the photo walk. I just, I love his pose. I love the shadow. It looks like he's got this hooded sweatshirt on and like like he's a hunchback or something like the shadow tells a different story than than what the person is actually doing um obviously shot kind of late in the day you can see the shadows the, i mean the sun is almost straight down hitting them straight on but real again really good in black and white really like that shot this was on the same photo walk and this is one of these things where i was standing on the corner we were waiting across the street we were just kind of kind of standing around and i turned around and i saw her kind of coming towards me and you know I'm trying not to point the camera right at her so I have you know I'm taking a horizontal I'm trying to put the focus point way over here so it looks like I'm actually photographing this but I was getting her in focus and I just love the shirt you know the Superman shirt but then having like this big soda drink and the cigarette and you know it just it all just worked together like personality wise I just I just think it's a great shot especially in black and white and my last shot that I picked was this one. Again, I love umbrellas, but I want to do something different. This was at a parade and it was raining out, obviously. And I'm just, you know, I was focusing on the reflection. I wanted like a sort of a cornucopia of colors. I wanted different textures. I wanted, you know, I have these two larger umbrellas here that were on the same sidewalk as me. Um, and then I have these other umbrellas across the street. And this person here, I got this line coming straight down which kind of mimics and mirrors this, this hand. I got the one hand person, you know, holding this umbrella here. And so um, just thought it was a really neat shot. Just like the color palette there. That one obviously has to be in color. So those were my favorite shots from 2022. A nice mix. A lot of them have people in them, of course. A single solitary figure that may be unrecognizable. I thought there was a good mix of color and black and white. A good mix of seasons i have some winter stuff i have some summer stuff um i have some fall stuff so some really um some really neat stuff i didn't i didn't think 2022 was i didn't think i really got anything that good actually but when you sit down and you go through your stuff as i was thinking about doing this video kind of had a hard time there were a couple i had to sort of leave out so let me know what you think let me know what your favorite images were that i showed that i ran through the year um, and, you know, give me some, some good, some bad, why you would have chosen it, why you wouldn't have things like that. Otherwise, check out my links below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so far, and we'll catch you soon with another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.